Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video. And in today's video, we are talking about our top 10 products. If all of our makeup disappeared, if it went away, if we had to run out of the house and it was burning and we had to go in and get these 10 items and we had enough time, Yes, I'm talking about it. we had enough time. These are the items that we would come out with. We said it was only 10. We saw Jessica Braun and Emily Noel do this. I believe Samantha March. I will leave their videos down below if I can find them. And also, this is a collab with my girl, Alex of One Beauty Addict. I absolutely love her content, love her makeup. And yeah, we wanted to do this. And I was like, girl, we should collab. And she was like, yeah. And then <laughs> I thought about... These are the products that I am talking about. Now, if money was no object, we're not talking about just drugstore, we're just talking about high end. We decided to just pick our favorites. Now, I will say mine are high end. So I will let you know, I can do a total drugstore if you guys want me to do that, because that would be definitely a challenge. But comment down below, let me know if you wanna see that video. But without further ado, let us get into this one. Okay, I don't know what Alex picked, so I am so excited to watch her video as well, but I am going to let you guys know in order what I put on my face because yes, this is a full face of 10 items. These I did put some thought into, but these are the ones that I would grab for. So the first item I would grab for is the Caudalie. This is the Beauty Elixir. I absolutely love this. I've gone through a large bottle of this. I have two of the small ones and I forgot to set my face, but I just did it. I love this because this is a beauty product. You can use it at night before you put on your nighttime routine. You can use this before you put on your nighttime routine. You can use this as your setting spray. You can use this as your primer. I really do enjoy this and that's why it is a must. I, it's a holy grail by the way, but I absolutely love this product and it is a must have. So that's what I used first on my face. The second thing, now this came as a set, so this I'm not cheating y'all. It is one product or one. Yeah. If I picked up this from Sephora, I could actually get the set and it's not limited edition. Hello, because we want to make sure that it is the benefit set. This is, I can't remember what the set was, but I will leave it a link down below, but it came with a precisely my brow pencil. I have it in number six and it also came with the brow vo conditioning primer. I thought this was a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. It was in one of my favorites videos and the Precisely My Brow has quickly become one of my favorite pencils, if not my favorite. Definitely love it more than the Anastasia. It's creamier. It doesn't break off or dry out. I feel like it's the perfect consistency and the pencil is just spot on and you get a good amount of product. You get point. 008 and I have been looking at the amount of product that we get in our brow products and highly check that out if you guys are running out of your brow products pretty fast it's probably because it doesn't have as much as others so uh, that's what I put on next then after that I put on my moisturizer now this one was this one I really it didn't surprise me that I picked it but it surprised me because it's not one of my typical favorites of moisturizers this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. I've had a couple of these and I've had it in a travel size and it makes me want to get the larger size. It is a mega illuminating moisturizer. So I can do this as a glowy primer as well or a glow, glowy lotion. I like for illumination to peek through my foundation. So I really do love this. It smells amazing. It smells like like cotton candy something you would get at the county fair but i love this i've gone through like four or five of these uh, and wait uh, like three or four three or four no four or five <laughs> i went through a lot of these y'all they've been in my empties but i really do enjoy this and it makes me want to get the larger size okay it's no surprise that i really like this foundation it is my favorite foundation it is the veil cosmetics this is the sunset skin foundation i have a review of this I absolutely love it it can go from sheer to full coverage it's cruelty free it's vegan it has some properties in it I think it contains a serum I have the review I can't remember everything that I said about this but I know it is bomb so a lot of people I don't see a lot of people talking about this foundation and I don't know why but this is an amazing foundation and you can pick this up in stores, in certain stores. So it's not like it's, 
you know, a needle in a haystack. You won't find this at Ulta Sephora, but there are stores that you can actually purchase this from. So my foundation is, is in tan 4G. I just wanted to say that before I moved on to the next thing. Okay, the next one is by no surprise. I've done a review on this one as well, and it's the Born This Way Multi Sculpting, Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. Love this. I have it in the shade Sand on my face. Okay, the next item is the. So the next item is a new discovery for me. I absolutely love this. It could dual as a foundation or a sculptor. I mean, I feel like I want to get this in a couple of shades, and it is the Too Faced. Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this so much. I have it in the shade Sand. I actually have some other shades. I have one, I think Warm Sand, I can use as a foundation, especially in the winter months. But I love this because it's half an ounce. Half an ounce, you guys. So this is going to last a long time. When I was thinking about my products, I wanted something and I really wanted to give it thought. But this is really good. And I have that review if you guys want to check it out. The next item I did apply to my face, I used my Hourglass. This is the new one. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. I feel like they've only gotten better with this. I am coming with a review comparing this to last year's. I feel like that they leveled up. Hourglass leveled up in this one because the reason why this one was next because I use this as my under eye setting powder and I I could use this I have one over the face I have a bronzer I have two blushes and a highlighter hello and face palettes I'm tending to go towards these because they are multi-purpose you can travel with this I could use these with as I like really nice eyeshadows um I tend to really like tend to like face palettes things that can be used multi-purposeful hope that makes sense but I use this to set my eyes I also use this um, I use the blush. I didn't use the bronzer because I have a different bronzer, but I use the blush here. I use these two as my under eye setting. So Hourglass Ambient Edit Unlocked, the bomb. Okay, y'all, by no surprise, you probably noticed that I have been loving this for a while, probably a couple of years. And that is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. It is the perfect shade. It's the perfect warmth for me it comes a, a couple of shades so even if i wanted to get one that's more gray to contour and i like the consistency it goes on smoothly over a foundation and i really like it without powdering y'all it goes on without powdering sometimes you have to powder and actually set your face before putting on a bronzer because it will skip and look splotchy this doesn't do this to me it's like a gel consistency it's it's a weird consistency, but it blends on and builds really, really well. So Pro Bounce Fusion. Oh, I have it in 30M, by the way. Okay, the next thing I put on is my Fenty Gloss Balm. I love this. This is a dupe to a Dior lip gloss that I talked about before. But this smells so good. It lasts a long time, and I love the amount of products that you get. So thought went into that when I wanted to pick something and I am a classic lipstick and lip gloss girl I had kind of sexy in here but I had to switch it out because I was like I don't have a concealer so I had to put a concealer in here but gloss on by Fenty I could go without a liner without lipstick but I love gloss I'm a gloss girl the next thing I use is my modern renaissance now this was a tough one picking a eyeshadow palette but I needed something with everyday shades in the as you see me apply them I apply the first one and I totally could walk out the door just like that add some mascara and I'm good okay but I needed some pops of color and I am tending to go towards now pinks and warm tones these are colors that I use on a daily and there are a few cool tone shades in here I don't know if you see that but there's some cool tone shades so I can get a cool tone look and that's why I picked this I didn't want to pick the soft glam because I felt like soft glam I just feel like this one would keep my interest a bit more it would keep me inspired to constantly keep doing more looks and this is the OG this is the first of the pact okay modern renaissance so I really do love this and I am doing a pan that palette right now with it because I don't want it to go bad and yes 
We'll see, but I'm probably gonna get sick of it, then love it again. But it's definitely a palette that I would more than likely repurchase. And then my 10th item is this mascara. Now, I can't believe that I did not use, I didn't get drugs, I didn't get drugstore, I didn't go I, to Lancome, which is usually my go-to. But this, I really love because this one, I can amp up and really make look like I have false lashes. This is the Douce punk volumizer mascara it has a huge brush now i would say you know you could get this from the drugstore a brush that's this big and kind of do the same thing but it's the formulation of this that's super black this is probably the third second or third one that i've gone through and once i finish it i regret it that it's gone so i was like i could do a lot with this mascara i could build it up it could, I can make it look spidery and like really nice and smoldering. I could do a smoky look without lashes. So that's the reason why I picked this mascara because I feel like I could do a couple of things and build up on this. It's a really nice formula. Okay, you guys, those are my top 10 products. If my house was burning, if all of my makeup went away, if things did not go my way, these are the things that I would go out and straight away repurchase. So don't forget to head on over to Alice's channel. I know you will love her content. Such a great personality. She's a glam mom like me. Yes. And I think you would really, really enjoy what she has to offer over on her channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.